Hello, today I show you how to use new send dust Photoshop action and here is some of results what you can make with this action. Okay, and firstly some recommendation for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with resolution of at least 2000 pixels for best effect. So if you have photo with a resolution of at least on one axis 1000 pixels or 3000 pixels, just select your photo, then go to the image, image size and change the width value to 2000 pixels. In my case, I have 2150 pixels, so it's okay. Okay, first of all, do these operations. First step, make sure you are using the English version of Photoshop. If you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. Second step, go to image, mod, and check the RGB color and 8 bits channel. And last step, just for CS5 and highest version, click on menu icon at the right, select panel options, and check the add copy to copy it less and groups. Okay, that's all. Now, how to use action? Open your image, and one more important thing, your photo need to have the background view. So, if your photo have this view, this view. You just need to select photo, then go to the layer, new, and select background from layer. Now it's OK. Next step, create a little more space for the effect. For that, select crop tool and just scale the frame. OK. Next step, create a new layer and name it area. And please don't use the caps lock. Paint on this layer the area what you need to focus. For that, select brush tool. You can use any colors. And very important moment, before use action, change your opacity to 100%. You can use brush tool or you can use uh, magic, magic wand tool. Okay, I'm a little blurred in this area. Okay, the area was painted. Next step, open brushes file, then select brush tool, make a right click on your image, select menu icon at the right, and select load brushes. Go to your download folder and just open send us brushes. 
Okay, next step. Open your patterns file. For that, go to the file, open. Go to your download folder again and open send us patterns. Okay, and next step, open the action. For that, go to the window, actions, click on menu icon at the right, select load actions, and just make double click on send us Photoshop action. Okay, now open your action, select it, and click play. Wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all actions. Speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. I'm going to scroll this step. Okay, now action finished work. And firstly, close all groups. Okay, and now let's change our composition. We have eight folders. First folder it's color and contrast adjustment. In this folder we can change brightness and contrast of all image. In this folder we can add color fill to all image. And change the color balance of all image. Okay, next folder it's front particles folder. In this folder we can move our particles. And we can change the color of particles. Just select your particles layer, make double click on color overlay and change the color. Okay. If you need to erase some of space of this effect, just select layer mask of your folder, select brush tool, select black color and just paint on the area what you need to erase. If you want to make visible, just select white color and just paint on this layer. Okay, the next folder, front light folder. In this folder, we can change front light color effect. Just make double click on the front light effect color and change the color. Okay. And we can add gradient fill to our front light. Just make double click on gradient, select gradient 
and change the color. Maybe red and blue. Okay, next folder it's from dust. If you need to erase some of space of this effect, just select layer mask, select brush tool, black color, and paint on the area what you need to erase. In my case, I need to erase the dust on the face of my model. Okay. If you need to make visible, just select white color and paint. Okay, that's nice. Next folder, your object group. In this folder, we can change object light. Just make double click on the color icon and change the color. Change the brightness and contrast of motion effect. Okay, in this folder we can change the saturation of our object. and brightness and brightness and contrast of our object. Okay, the next folder it's bags and dust folder. In this folder we can move and transform any layers of our bags and dust. very easy to use. Okay, next folder it's sunlight folder. This folder contain sunlight. You can make unvisible this folder. And of course paint on layer mask. And last folder it's background elements. In this folder, we can change the brightness and contrast of our back sky. And we can change the color of back sky. And of course, we can add gradient color to background. Let's change it. Okay, looks nice. So it's ready. Just save. Thanks for watching and good luck.